Do you want to know how and where to hit depending on the phase of the point that you are on? This video is going to give you the answers. So we talked about this on different videos, but I wanted to do a small review of the three different phases of the point. So we have three phases in every point. We have defense, that's when you are on the move. The other one is in control of the point. We have neutral, when nobody is in control of the point and both players are trying to get in control and get into the third phase, which is offense. And that's when you are in control of the point and that's most of times in the kind of phase that you are trying to get on, okay? So, depending on the different phase that you are on, you gotta make sure that you are hitting the right shot because I see so many players that, let's say they are on defense and they try to go for a winner and it makes no sense, okay? So, first of all, defense. What kind of shot and what kind of footwork are you gonna try to use when you are on defense? Very important use high balls, okay? Use heavy top spin balls. Every time you're on defense, try to go cross court, okay? If you go down the line, they are gonna make you run. I will explain on any video. So use high top spin balls. Try to go back to neutral. Try, try to push the other one back. Now, what kind of footwork are you gonna use if you're on defense? Most of times, especially on the forehand side, you're gonna be using open stance okay so it doesn't make sense being on the run and stopping sideways here because after you hit you're going to need to one step and then recover so make sure every time you are on the move use open stance on that forehand to be there with your footwork now we talk a lot of times about getting your balance and hitting moving forward when you're on defense you're going to hit so many times with your balance go with your balance going backwards especially when the other one is hitting very deep and the ball is coming very quick. And that's perfectly fine. But you gotta make sure that after you hit those balls and you lose the, your balance backwards, you hit, and after you hit, you control your balance and you are perfectly in position to get into the next ball of the point. So we have players like Nadal, for example, he does that really good. He hits the ball in open stance, he hits, he pivots on his left leg of, uh, for him because he's lefty here but we're gonna do for you right is we're gonna do it with the right leg he hits and he pivots on his leg so he's moving backwards as he hits but his balance is perfectly fine it's not like he hits after he hits he's losing his balance if you are doing that what happens yeah you might get that ball back but on the next shot you're gonna get out of balance and you're not gonna be able to get back to neutral so what's your goal with these shots on defense is getting back to either neutral or offensive position with those heavy balls. Sometimes, if the other ones really make you run to a side, you might have to hit some slices because you are completely out of balance, you are reaching to a ball and stuff, but don't use slices when the, ball, when the other one is pushing you back because it makes no sense. If the other one pushing you back, you are almost on the back fence using a slice because it's not gonna be effective, the ball is gonna go too high and you are not gonna get back to neutral, they're gonna keep making you move. So. If the other one pushes you back, use heavy top spin. If you are running towards the sides, if you are able to hit through a wall, try to use top spin balls again. But if you are just on the stretch, just try to get ball, the ball back with a lower slice to see if the other one pops it up and you can be, get back to a neutral or offensive position. So that was defense. Now let's talk about neutral. What is neutral? It's when nobody's in control of the point. So what kind of shots are we gonna use in neutral? We can use a very big variety of shots. So you can either use heavy top swing cross court. You can use top swing cross court by going a little bit lower, trying to be a little more aggressive with those shots. You can definitely go down the line when you're in neutral, trying to change the pace, trying to change the direction, trying to make the other one move a little more. Now, make sure if you go down the line, try to use your ball a little bit lower. So this way the ball moves quicker and he is not able to make you move. And also again, Pick, uh, pick the right shot to go on the line, okay? So we talked about that on many different videos. If you are all the way on the corner, please don't go on the line because you are gonna get from neutral to defense. And that's exactly what we don't wanna do. What we don't wanna do. We're gonna go from defense to offense, okay? So once you, are, once you get closer to the, uh, to the middle of the court, or if you are closer, let's say, for example, they give you a shorter ball, be more aggressive, and try to make the other one move. What kind of footwork are we gonna use when we're on defense? We are gonna use most of times, again, open stance on the forehand, but 
when the ball goes closer towards the middle, you can definitely use your close stance forehand and move forward with it. When you're in, in neutral, I would not suggest you most of times to put your balance backwards like I told you to do on defense, okay? Every time you can, try to be a little more aggressive. Don't lose too much court from the base, okay? Try to be pretty aggressive on the top of the base and not giving the other player more court to make you move. And try to be a little more aggressive, opening maybe a few angles every time you can. Hit a few cross court shots, then change the, uh, the change down the line. Find the other one weakness. And as soon as he gives you a shorter ball, that's when we're going to be more aggressive because that's the third phase of the point and that's offense. What is our goal when we are in offense? We're going to try to finish a point. So offense, generally speaking, you are in control of the point. So the other one is going to be the one moving, right? So when we're in offense, we want to make the point a little bit shorter. Okay, so what kind of shots are we going to use? We're going to hit very aggressive shots. So every time you are in offense, try to put your hands completely forward. Use your legs. Okay, as you hit, if you are in open stance here, move forward with the ball. If you decide to use close stance because the ball goes closer to the middle, not a problem, but hit and move forward through the ball, okay? What kind of shots are we going to use? We're going to use way more flat shots, okay? We want the ball to move faster, we don't want to give the other one time to react, okay? So we want to use fast and flat shots. Now, you can definitely use top swing, but use some kind of top swing where the ball moves faster, okay? You don't want to really use like high top swing balls on these kind of situations because your goal is to finish the point. You are not trying to get a short ball because you are already in offense, okay? So be aggressive. On the back end side, if I was you, I could use the back end in close stand all the time. It makes no sense when you are in offense, in offensive situation to hit the back end in open stance because it's not as comfortable and it's not easy to be aggressive with the back end in open stance, especially once you are inside of the court. So step in on every back end, be aggressive and try to close the point. Every time you, hit, you are in offense and you hit a very good shot, you see that the other one gets out of balance, hit, go to a net and close at the net. That's the easiest way to finish a point because, I mean, let's be realistic. So many times it's so hard to find winners from the base, and especially if we are playing against a quick player. So just work on the point, work through the different phases of the point. Okay, if you are in defense, don't worry, be patient. Top swing, a lot of cross court shots, okay? As soon as he gives you an easier ball, maybe you're back to neutral, okay? Be a little more aggressive. Maybe use a few angles here and there. Maybe use deeper balls, to, so this way you're looking for that kind of short balls. And as soon as you are able to change from neutral to offense, be more aggressive. Use more flat shots. Go more down the line, way more often. As soon as you put your one out of balance and you feel like you are in a good position, come to the net and close with a volley. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful for you, please share it with your friends, spread out the word about Time Valley of Tennis, like and subscribe to our YouTube channels, and don't forget, you are just one drill away.